Hi folks, welcome back to my Shell Buzzy on Buzzman blog. This is where you get the how to, the what to, the where to, the why to, the when to, the who to, folks. Making it just that easy, as I always say. And um, any questions that you have, it may even become one of these blogs if you send us an email. And you can send us an email because if you're a member, askshell.com, become a member, it's free. That way you get all the information free, making it just that easy. So, when you have a question, why not uh, just send me the information? You might have to take a couple of pictures if you want. Do that. Pictures are worth a thousand words, so doing the picture thing is really good. That way it allows me, the ombudsman, to diagnose the problem and get that information back to you. We get letter after letter after letter saying, Shell, we really enjoy your blogs. We really enjoy the information that you're giving us, and uh, we pass it on down through the family. So keep that in mind, askshell.com. Now, one of the questions has been uh, quite often asked, comes to mind, and that is, uh, you remember when rubber back carpet was really popular? They glued it down, especially in basements, what we used to call wreck rooms. And the only reason why, because there were rooms to wreck. But now we call it, oh gosh, we call it the family room. We call it the great room. We call it the uh, party room. We call it maybe in some cases uh, dad's den or maybe uh, mom's relief room. All of these things. But rubber back carpet is a pain and you know what. Okay. And there's your carpet. That's the tufts or the loop. You might have a loop uh, type of carpet. The old indoor, outdoor carpet. But on the bottom, what did they have? They had rubber. They had a rubber foam back. Okay. And it was rubber, black. And it was foam. Stick like flypaper when it comes to sticking to a floor. So how do you get it up? Oh, my goodness. You know, people say they've tried everything. They don't try to sand it. Doesn't work. Don't try to cut it off. Doesn't work. But what you can do is go to the wall and get down underneath it and grab a hold of it with your fingers and thumb. And you're up here and you're up there really doing your thing and you're just pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling on your arms to pull, but you release the rubber off of the carpet, but the rubber's still on the floor. And what you want to do there, don't try to mess with acids and thinners and all these things. No, 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 no. What you do, go to your local rental outlet and ask them for the carpet removing shear machine that has a little blade on the bottom that does this and it just gets underneath there and it just shears that right off it's just that easy folks so you can get rid of that wash the floor with my cleaning formula that's the shell buzzy home cleaning formula you know what that looks like and incidentally folks i should tell you that is available. We are now distributing it ourselves throughout the industry. Uh, it will be hopefully in home hardware stores, Canadian Tire stores, and uh, Rona stores, and Home Depot stores, and home hardware building centers, and Windsor Plywood stores, and Cloverdale paint stores, and pff, on, on, and we go. But it's designed to do the job. Wash the floor, rinse the floor, let it dry, and then continue with your project. Maybe you're going to put down tiles. Maybe you're going to put down... Uh, um, Oh, gosh, maybe uh, a, a plastic laminate uh, flooring or maybe uh, an engineered floor, uh, all that sort of thing. Keep in mind, a little bit of the glue on the floor, uh, don't worry about that. It's not going to cause any grief with your, uh, your new floor, okay, because it's going to be smooth. That's the main thing. It's just that easy. If you do any sanding, always wear a mask, okay? Always wear a mask. Always safety first. Wear gloves, wear long sleeve shirts, and wear a dust mask and safety goggles. It's just that easy. Till next time, folks, stay well, won't you? And we we'll look forward to having you back with our blog 
and my ombudsman information. It's just that easy. Until next time, bye-bye. Thumbs up.